country where the sky touches down on the field She lay her down to rest in the morning sun They come a running just to get a look Just to feel to touch her long black hair They don't give a damn Recently, I came across a glyph with a painted rock. And the painted rock was a smiley face. Now, this is not the first smiley face that I have received from the Sasquatch people. And yes, I do believe that it was from the Sasquatch people. Um, Whether they painted the actual rock, I do have my doubts about that. Kids and people paint them in campgrounds and... uh, You know, it's something very, very common, but I do definitely think that they placed it there. One of the big obvious hints is that uh, Little Bud, my juvenile that I associate with often in the woods and seems to be following me around everywhere, he's like my buddy. His glyph, his open triangle, is right below it. But there's other reasons. And uh, let me start by saying that I am actually very analytical. Sometimes I even overthink things that they have repeated, repeatedly shown me that they have done. Just because of the chance that it could be done by humans. But um, I wanted to uh, take you back some months back when um, I was questioning painted rocks that I found in structures. And in one of the videos you'll see, but I will get the answer because that's normally how it happens with me. I will get an answer to my questions. Sometimes it's immediate and right below my feet as soon as I think it. Other time it takes a few days. And that's how this one played out um, with my query about the colored rocks I was finding in structures. So I am trusting of them. Sometimes I tend to be a little bit over analytical, but... um, I do believe that this was left by them. And I do believe it was left by Little Bud specifically, mainly because he hangs out with me a lot, but also because his glyph is right underneath that. And that's like a signature, a signature like, hello, I did this kind of thing in this particular instance. So I'll take you back on how I resolved my query about, hmm, I wonder if they leave these painted rocks in the structures. And then maybe you'll get a better understanding of why I feel that this particular one, which I found just approximately a week ago, was indeed left by them. Now, once again, I don't think that they painted it, although I do not put anything past them. But uh, 
Did they leave it? I believe so. And maybe you'll agree with me after you watch this video. And a bunch of colored painted rocks. Now, I'm not willing to commit that Sasquatch... Well, I'm certainly not willing to commit that they painted them, although I wouldn't put anything past them, but whether they placed them here or not, that's interesting. But uh, that is kind of an interesting arrangement around there that... Uh, I don't know why anybody would do that, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to... Um, the answer will come to me eventually with these rocks. And that answer did come to me just a few short weeks later when they utilized my friend Mark to give me the answer I was seeking. Well, anyway, uh, I'm here with, uh, with Mark here today, and uh, we are going to have one heck of an evening. Like, we are getting bombarded with energy. Like, my head feels like it's going to explode, and Mark is, like, super sensitive. So, yeah, just loving this. So, anyway, so we're here. And as soon as we get out of the um, the car, or my truck, Mark hears a, a knock. He's looking up and then, uh, you know, like, yeah, and they're all around. And so, I wanted to say that a, a few days ago, I was finding these colored rocks on these structures and, and you know, it's always like, okay, I know you made the structures, guys, but are you leaving these colored rocks? And so I asked them. I said, I know I'm going to get an answer soon. So here we are today, and uh, Mark starts hearing this uh, not, uh, tapping right down by this little stump right in front of us. And he, he was saying, I think somebody's sitting right there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so we, so we go along, so we come down here, and uh, uh, anyway, so we're looking at this stump where, where Mark was feeling he was sitting, and I was, like I said, my head was exploding. And, and Mark said that something told him energetically or how would you describe it was it like a thought placement kind yeah, of thing basically it's like it was like they were calling me to come over here yeah that was and, like and, and it was like them trying to get me to come over here right to and, what, and what did they get you to do can you show us oh look at that isn't that interesting there's a colored Grab rock a rock and look at it and just yeah. looked underneath it and it was all orange yeah so uh, there's my answer wedged in the tree yeah so there's my answer right yeah you know oh, yeah, that's that's there. the way it works guys that's the beauty of the uh, the way these guys teach is is remarkable, and uh, wow! Hey, we just had a remarkable thing happen. Hi. Okay, so you had you had more thoughts on um, on on that rock that you were called to. So, talk about first of all, you were you were you were drawn to. Well, talk about the noise and then how you got over uh, there and what we happened. Were standing there, that's after we had been here for the, you know, not even an hour. I first heard the three knocks. Uh, it was more like a, I don't know, it was like a zap kind of knock, but it was like a, I don't know, it's hard to explain the way that it sounded, but I, I heard it clear as day. We walked around a little bit, we came back here, and then when we sat by the truck, I heard the three taps, or the two taps. Yep. So it was first three, two, and then they did it again after that, but the two taps, when we walked over to that stump. When I walked over that stump, it's as if it's as if like he was basically they were basically or them were like as one with me, and it wasn't even like in, in that split moment it felt like I wasn't even that person lifting that rock up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like not even like they were telling me to pick it up. I just knew I went in there, where that top came from, and it was like. And you were just kind of like, like it was a thought were, thought placement yeah, kind of much. thing, and yeah, and, and yeah. So like they were like basically like using my because you know mind speak or however you want to call it. They were using that and they were trying to get me to come to that spot, and then they used that same ability with me to make sure that I was going to pick that rock up and lift it up and look underneath. Yeah, and, and from your experience, <laughs> so, from your experience, which is vast, yeah. you you know it for what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. So that was. Yeah. That was and, him reaching out, telling me to yeah. come over here and look at this rock. And yeah. I had no idea that you were had a thing with them with like oh, no. rock. I didn't I, even know. I, I had just, know like it. I said, I, I, had, no I, I had just questioned them a few days ago. Like yeah. I said, I, I'm wondering what you're doing with these colored rocks all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, are you doing them or is it kids adding to what you're doing? So, um, 
they gave me, it was like I got my answer. And, and like I said, I also said when I asked it, mm -hmm. I said, I know I'm going to get the answer. You know. That's a nice what, camera you have yeah. there, sir. <laughs> it is actually. No, it is. It's nice, it's nice. Uh, I mean, because when I have a question like of that magnitude mm. or whatever, like a teaching kind of thing, yeah. they, they, you know, they they give me the answer, and so that no, was that, that, that was, was that was awesome that you were involved in it. Mm -hmm. You went over there. They utilized you. I got my answer, and they introduced themselves mm. to you. So, what do you think of the locals here? Oh, they're great. I love them. What? More family. And, and they got you giggling all the time, yeah, eh? They've been full of uh, laughter and lots of chuckles and full of uh, pure heart. <clears throat> Just making me try to like laugh constantly. So yeah. I'll be around also and I'll start giggling a little bit. That's them giggling. I'm just like I'm feeding <laughs> off it, right? So. It's awesome. And you said yeah. they're going to come and visit tonight, right? Yeah, they're coming. They come visit me. They're home. coming. They're yeah. coming around the mountain when she comes. Every night. They'll be coming. Yeah. All right, man. I'm pretty much ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for them. Okay. So what? Okay. So when I went in there and I walked up to that spot. Yeah. Where those where that stump was where I heard the two knocks you were drawn there I yeah. was drawn there because of the knocks they, well they, they were calling me over um, there was two rocks in there the first one I grabbed and I picked up they yeah. were like no not this rock so I, then I picked up the next rock on the opposite side of the stump and there was the orange underneath it but I knew when I walked up to that spot I was going to be picking up a rock but but they and told you, so, but you just said earlier, they when you picked up the first one, you got a, no, no, this is not the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the first rock that yeah. was bedded in the inside of the stump. Which is really and it interesting. Was, and it was very, it stood out too, like a sore thumb. I knew it was there as soon as I looked yeah. at it. When, so when you, I went for the other yeah. rock. You picked the first one up and how, what was the feeling? It was just a, a, an energy of no, no, no? Or yeah, how, I was how, like, no, not this rock. That rock, kind of. Like thought placement. Yeah. Okay, so and then... I, Put that rock back down and I picked up the other rock. I looked underneath yeah. it and it was just all... And then it all tied everything together yeah, with yeah. my question. Exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. Awesome, man. Don't you cry, and you don't want to. 